This video is not a substitute for reading and understanding all the instruction manuals and warning labels supplied with the equipment, nor is it a substitute for reading and understanding the MSDS supplied by the material supplier. Okay, so a couple other things that we should talk about real quick before we uh, go over flushing the system is, is a few techniques. Right. All right? Okay. So, number one technique. You need to keep your gun parallel to the part. All right? Okay. So you should be about 10 inches from your part but keep your gun parallel to it, all right? So what we're gonna do is I wanna turn this just at an angle ever so slightly, Eric, so we get a, a good shot here, all right? So if I'm like this and my gun is parallel to the part, I get even distribution of right. paint, all right? right? If I come at this and I have my gun triggered, yes. what's gonna happen? Well, you're gonna have a, probably a buildup on the top, right? Exactly right. It's in down here, thick up there. Exactly right, yeah. so you're gonna get a very uneven distribution of paint. All right, so keep that gun parallel. Right, okay. Next thing, as you're coming to the end of your spray pattern, mm -hmm. right, release the trigger before pulling your gun back or rotating it. Right. Same thing, if I'm parallel to the part and I start rotating my gun out, yeah. right, all of a sudden my pattern gets thin and, and bigger at the yeah. end. Yeah. Uneven distribution of paint once again. So you're keeping that this plane perpendicular to your part while you're triggering. Exactly right. And de-trigger off the part. Okay. That way you're not getting a heavy buildup or a shallow or, or light coverage at the end of your stroke. Okay. Okay. A couple more things I want to talk about as far as technique goes. And we're just going to use this cardboard box as an example. All right. So I want to talk about cornering and how we paint a corner. Mm -hmm. All right. So what you want to do on a corner is come parallel to the corner, right even with the corner, and follow down. Mm -hmm. right? That way you're hitting the corner and out at the edges, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. On a square surface like this, once you do the corner, now you can come over to the square surface and do what we call a banding, all right? Okay. So what that means, we're going to come across the top, do the sides, okay. back across the bottom, up the other side. So we've created a box or we've sure. banded it. Sure. Now we can come in and spray, do a 50% overlap, okay. and all the way through. So right. that way you're making sure that you're covering your parts consistently. Exactly way. right. Okay. okay. Next thing I want to talk about before we flush is inside corners. All right. So let's take a look at this and let's just leave it just parallel like this so we get a real good visual of this. If I come in and, and attack an inside corner the same way I do an outside corner like this, what's going to happen? Uh, I think you're going to get some buildup. Exactly right, because my edges are closer here than my middle is to the center. Yeah. All right. So when I attack an inside corner, I want to come in like this. Okay. And then come back along this edge. Uh, All right. Okay. And put the edge of my pattern down into this corner. Right. So you should have a consistent here, consistent here, and everything gets into the corner. Exactly right. Good. All right. So let's go ahead and let's do a flush. Okay.